welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post bowl, <laughs> bowl? post bell notification so that you get notified every single time there's a post. So today's video is, uh, oh, we have an important message. So come a little closer, come closer, come closer. You, yes you, learn the power of no, okay? Learn it. Now, I used to be a people pleaser. I used to be so into not letting people down, constantly wanting people to like me, though subconsciously I didn't know that's what I was doing. I've always been a person to like beat, you know, to my own drum and would kind of just do my own thing. And then I started noticing as my social media started growing in different ways how a lot of my relationships with people changed. They weren't the same that they were before. A lot of people were coming back around and trying to be cool and hang out that weren't necessarily there before my social media group, if that makes sense. And because of that, and because some of those friendships and relationships, I tried to harbor and put energy into when I was younger. Now those relationships are back around. I was like, oh cool, okay, cool, awesome. I subconsciously was extremely happy because I've always wanted those relationships to work. Now, because I was unintentionally or subconsciously, I'll say, a people pleaser, a lot of times when someone would invite me somewhere and want to go do something, I don't want to let people down. So I always try to figure out a way to make it happen. It didn't matter if I just got off work or if I needed to get some work done. I always was like, let me figure out my schedule and make things happen. I did not know the power of no. The power of no is so important. There truly is power behind the word no. No is your first sign of setting boundaries. And boundaries are important for your own sanity. Boundaries are important for your happiness. Boundaries are important so that way you can take care of you because setting a boundary is actually really self-love. Because you can't be available to everyone. You can't be available to everything. Power of no is not for you to be mean. The power of no was like, look, hey, I just can't today. And that's simply okay. It should be okay. It should be okay to say the word no. It should be okay to hear the word no. We live in a society where everything happens like this and we're so used to being told yes. We post something on social media and we get instant gratification. So we're so used to all of these yeses that we also don't know how to say no because we've constantly have given so many yeses. So then when you, you set yourself in a position where, hey, I'm reflecting and I'm realizing things about myself in the past that I didn't necessarily like and that I need to change to be the better person I need to be for the future. And for me, setting boundaries was huge. And I also noticed in my life, any time that I took a stand to set boundaries, oh my gosh, the world was shaking. So many relationships in my lives, and my life became affected by me setting boundaries. And then I would sit and reflect and be like, why? Why does me setting a boundary bother you so much? Why does me setting a boundary affect you and hurt you? Because you're not used to me setting boundaries. No is a boundary. Hey, no, I can't. Can you do this? No. And you don't have to explain. If you want to, you can, but you don't have to explain why you're saying no. No in itself is enough. Learn the power of no so that way you can truly have peace of mind and that you can do the things that you need to do. You can't be everywhere. Like, if someone's, if someone's in their feelings because you can't be there, then that's something, honestly, they're going to have to deal with. And as I'm moving into this new phase of my life and I want to take y'all with me, I'm realizing how important boundaries are, how important it is to to tear down the people pleasing, how important the power of no is. During, I don't know, I'd say like the last, the last six months of my life, seriously, I've been super focused. I've really been trying to get a lot of things done. And I'm, what I've really learned during that time is the power of no, no. I don't like how you talk to me. I'm not communicating with you. No, I don't want to do that. Simply because I don't want to do that. No, 
Just because no. No is a boundary. And no is universal across so many things. You know, again, you don't have to explain why you're saying no, but no is important. No is important in your vocabulary. Learn it and stand, stand 10 toes down on your no. Don't say no and then sit back and like, Ugh. don't second guess yourself. Your, your intuition knows what it's talking about. So when you feel an inkling to say no the first time, say no. Say no. And then keep it pushing. But so many times we're made to feel guilty and we're made to feel uncomfortable with saying no because people aren't used to us setting boundaries. You not setting boundaries allows people to run all over you. If they can run all over you, they can do whatever they want with you. You setting a boundary is you standing up for yourself. So learn the power of no and take a stand. I love y'all. See you on the next video.